Capacity constraints are another input into the MPS. What's a capacity constraint? The maximum amount of production capacity that we have in any given week. The maximum amount of Comfort Maxes we can produce in the Dallas factory in a week is 100,000. Last month, we got a production schedule for 120,000 Comfort Maxes in week two, so it was not possible to produce that amount, which meant that production fell behind schedule. In most weeks, we produce other items in addition to the Comfort Maxes, so the MPS needs to account for production of other items as well. Can you give me an example? In week 10, we had been scheduled to produce 25,000 Comfort Maxes, but customer orders were below the demand forecast. So we moved those 25,000 to week 11 and scheduled more production of true form tables, which had higher customer orders than their demand forecast. Great. And the eighth input? Production lot sizes. Mark, why don't you explain? The minimum lot size for a Comfort Max production run is 25,000. Anything less than that is inefficient. So if you get an order for less than 25K, schedule production for 25K and hold the rest in inventory. Daniel sees that capacity constraints and production lot sizes are MPS inputs.